Here's a guys we're looking at Metro Bank MTRO -O. Metro Bank. Let's look at the chart. We're looking at the looking at the one day chart. You can see on the one day chart where we are. Last trading day twenty on the twenty third of September. Today's twenty fifth. Markets closed twenty fifth September twenty twenty four. Last trading day was the twenty fourth. You see there, twenty fourth. Then we're on the twenty third. It's a Monday. reached 70 71 just over 71 as you can see there's 71.7 and it going back it had reached that level you can see there even higher Then it fell back, and now it's come back up, but the overall trend is climbing, <clears throat> which is a good sign if you're if you're long on Metro Bank shares or Metro Bank stock. Let's squeeze the chart. You can see if you're long, then obviously. You're in a good situation. It goes up, gives some back. That big, huge climb there went to 73. And about 73, just over. It gave some back and then coming back up. Um, So it's moving up. I've got an average of 45. As you can see, that blue line is, is my average. 45 pence. And I'm currently, <coughs> excuse me, I'm currently 51%. Fifty-one percent profit, but I'm not selling, I'm not closing the position because we turn it onto the one-week chart. Last year, I don't know if you can see last year. This is. See last year here, 2023, it's already up 150, one pound, 50 pence. So that's where I think it's heading back there, if not more. I mean, why should I sell? If I, if I sell any, I'm just weakening the potential even if it goes back down, it's only going to go, it's hoped, to go back up. <coughs> so, you know, I have to have that target price of 150 minimum where it was. As you can see, in December 2022, no, that, that was 2020, yeah, 2023. Um, 2023 and February 2023 so I have to have that 150 as a minimum you know to get the most out of it but obviously it's always got that potential to go a lot higher because if you know if you squeeze the chart you know Metro Bank has been down forever 
fell from great heights. Um, it was a uh, well, it was a uh, uh, well average. It was over forty pounds. You know, back in 20, 2018, 2017, you can see 2017 is there, 2018, so I'm holding on, <clears throat> I'm about over a thousand up. Huge spike here. Got sixty-eight pounds. Can you believe that? Sixty-eight pounds. Sixty-nine. It actually, it's a sixty-nine. Sixty-nine pounds. There was a spike. Sixty-nine pounds. Back in June two thousand and seventeen. But with an average. Average height, mostly at 40, 40 pounds, and then it crashed. And that's this is what's all to play for, guys. All to play for. You're talking 70 pence now. Imagine this goes back up or goes up to say five, five pounds. It's, it's, it, even now, the price is. Um, Price is cheap, you know, when you think of the potential long term. Price is, um, price is cheap, in my opinion. Now, I'm, you know, I'm not giving financial advice, just my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not telling you to buy, sell, hold, or close, or go long, or go short. So, my target price, I must. You know, I want at least one fifty. I want at least one fifty. That's where it was last year, twenty twenty three, the beginning of last year. And going back to twenty twenty was that twenty twenty had one sixty three. So yeah, I'm looking for at least one fifty basically double from where it is now just over double um, will it go higher than that 150 I don't know probably will um, is this the turnaround proper it's difficult to say because it's dropped you know when you look back and we're still on the one week chart. And this is the important aspect of it. When you look back, you can see that line there of 57. <coughs> Excuse me, you might have thought that was at a low point in October 2020. But then, you know, in recent times, it fell as low as 28 cents. Out there, 28 cents, 28, 29 cents. So it's, it, it gave away, even though it went up from that 50 cents during that period of time, it actually dropped to 28 